This lesson we're going to be connecting to a PDF I've got online on my WordPress website. And that's the full path to the PDF. This is the PDF, so it's a 15-page document. And using Google Apps Script to select the file, bring it into the script, and then save it into the drive. And we're also going to be saving it in a specific location on the drive. So there's the file after the script runs sitting on my drive. This lesson we're going to be selecting a document that's online and this is the documents so this is a PDF that I've uploaded to my website and there's a number of pages here. I'm going to be using App Script in order to pull the information from this PDF and create a PDF directly on my drive. I'm going into the Google Apps Script select and we're going to create a basic function that we can use in order to create. So this function is going to access the PDF and it's just going to be called generate PDF. First, we're going to need the URL that we just copied. So adding that as a string value and that's the full absolute path to the URL. And then next, whatever we want to call it, the file name and I'll just call it web PDF file. And of course you can name it whatever best suits your purposes. And then to actually grab the PDF itself, we can use the URL fetch app service and then use fetch within there. It requires the one parameter, which is a URL. And then we want to get the content as a blob. So use the get blob method. And this is going to create a blob PDF of the file. And now, now within the drive app service, we can simply create a file and the file is going to be based on the PDF blob. And here we can set the name to whatever we had as the original file name. And then let's save that. And I've already accepted permissions. Uh, so if this is the first time that you're running it, you're going to have to accept permissions for fetch, URL fetch app and drive app service. So once you've set the code, you've got the correct path, you can run the code and this is going to drop the PDF into your drive. So there's our web PDF. And it's going to be exact copy of what we've got online at the web URL. Except this one's going to be sitting within the drive. And just as our earlier example, if you want to put it within a specific folder, let's move this folder content back up to the top. So these are the folder object IDs. And you can copy out to move it into a specific folder as well. So this is the folder ID. I've just got it within a global variable. And we already did this within another lesson where we can select the folder. So going down to here where we're creating the file, we can specify instead of using the drive app, we can use the folder object that we've selected and that will place the new file into that new folder. So let's run that again. It's making the request, getting the PDF, and there's another copy of the PDF within the folder.